Hey guys, this is Nile Lambs and Vogue 101 and real quick, a couple things. Uh, I got a haircut, A, and B, I got a new job. So uh, if things slow down on the channel, which I know that they have uh, been because because of such, I've, it's because of that. I'm gonna try and still upload every now and then. Uh, mostly probably try and get two to three videos out a week. Um, definitely gonna be filming on the weekends and on Friday. So um, definitely be on the lookout for that. But uh, with that said, this is the last deck from Eternity Code I have to upload, or I have to update. Uh, this is Mio's deck, this is her Madolce deck, and it's not done. She did leave me some notes that she wanted me to mention in this video. Uh, but yeah, so it's not done, this is just a pure Madolce deck that she put together, uh, that she wants to play, she likes this deck, so... And uh, it's something from Eternity Code I haven't shown off yet, so I wanted to show this off for you guys. Um, anyways, with that said, before we get into it, down in the description, if you feel like supporting the channel, uh, there are links down there where you can directly support the channel, including joining our Discord if you feel like chatting with us. With that said, let's get right into it. I'm going to move the, uh, the spells and traps and extra deck off to the side. And we're going to talk about the monsters, of course. Of course, we're playing three uh, Madolce Baby. This is one of the best cards in the deck. It allows you to search and special summon. Uh, itself as well. Oh no, it doesn't search. Uh, this one just straight special summons from the deck. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, so this one special summons itself and then searches a summons another Madolce from the deck and reduces its level by one, but it locks you into Madolce's for the rest of the turn. Really good card, but definitely um, and definitely a must play. Definitely a must play. Uh, to go along with her, we are playing one Pudding Sus. Uh, Pudding Sus is mostly just to uh, make use of the Chocolate a la Mode. Uh, because that's literally what this card was kind of designed to do. So, of course, uh, one is definitely a preferred number for this card. Although, with a new card in the deck, you could definitely play two. So, after that, we have one of the other insane cards in this deck, which is Magiline. Uh, this card's crazy. It searches this, and it actually, like, turn one. Normal Summon Magiline, Search Baby, Special Summon Baby. You have two level fours right there, plus a free monster. Very good. Very nice play. Very nice combo. Nice combo, Kanye. Thank you. Um, three Angeli, one of the other really cool uh, Madolce cards. This can also get out Pating Sessor. Uh, this is just one of those really cool cards. She tributes herself and then special summons a Madolce from the deck. Uh, and then it can't be destroyed by battle, right? Shuffle on the deck during the end phase. Uh, just summon one Madolce. Once per turn, that special summon monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Yeah, there it is. Uh, but yeah, so three Angeli. Then we were playing three Hoots. Hoots is really good. Uh, this card banishes a Madolce from the graveyard, or actually any monster from the graveyard, sorry. And then so special summons a Madolce monster from the deck. So, very cool card to have. And speaking of, the best target for it, because when he's special summoned by a beast monster, or, or if you have a level three Madolce beast on the field, when he's special summoned, you get a search of Madolce spell or trap. Mailman. So, really cool card. Uh, Really, this is the main interaction you do with this, and then you kind of leave Hoots on the field and summon Mailman a few different times off of the Madolce Exes monster to get maximum searches. And a new returning one is two Madolce Kitty Cat. Uh, this is a really cool Madolce card that lets you, uh, on normal summon, special summon another Madolce from your hand, and this works very well with the new Madolce spell card. So uh, that was the main reason I know that Mio put this back into her deck. So very excited for. Uh, and this card is definitely really cool, especially in the in the build that she uses. You also notice uh, we've resleeved her deck for the first time ever. They are now in black dragon shields. Um, this is the first time she's ever resleeved resleeved this deck since we got it. So uh, there we go. Uh, we're almost done with the monsters now. We just have hand traps, which includes uh, three ash blossom and two effect veiler. I actually am picking her up a pair of impermanences on Friday. I think if everything goes correctly, um, I'm picking those up on Friday. So these are going to be infinite impermanences because imperm is really good in chase because during your opponent's turn, you can sack your imperms. Uh, like if your opponent goes first, you can sack your imperms and then still have all your chase basically just this one, uh, just, just baby. You still have that to be live. So that's the reason 
you want to play in perm. Wow, I'm just throwing around Ash Blossoms. But yeah, that's it uh, for the monsters. Moving into the spells and traps, we're of course going to start off with a new spell, which is three Medulce Salon. And this card is super cool. I was so glad I was able to get this like the day our, OT our OTS got the boxes in store. So I'm very excited about this. This is really cool. So it says during your main phase, you can normal summon one Medulce monster in addition to your normal summon slash set, which is something Medulces have needed for a really long time. And now they have a searchable one. And it says, if another Medulce card you control or in your graveyard is added to your hand or shuffled into the main deck by a card effect, set one Medulce Spell or Trap directly from your deck, except Salon. You can only use this effect of Salon once per turn. So not only does it give you an extra normal summon, it also fetches another Medulce card, which is great, especially since you can fetch more copies of Shto. Usually you want to fetch Ticket, but yeah. This is a really cool card and really nice to add to the Medulce strategy. And speaking of, you're playing two Chateau and one Ticket. Um, I don't think Mio has ever played these at more numbers. I know that she played Chateau at three for a little bit and Ticket at two, but I think with Salon and some of the other stuff, these are this is the proper ratio, I feel. I think Salon is a definite three of, because you do want to open it. You want to see it with your Medulce's to, to get those extra summons. Uh, that's it for the Medulce spells. Moving into the other spells, we have three called buys. Uh, this is kind of mandatory in Medulce's because you want your opponent to not get anything off. And then uh, one Foolish and one Raigeki. Uh, this is Foolish Goods, actually. And the reason she's playing this is for the next card that we're about to talk about. And Regeki is just Regeki. Some people have said to play Lightning Storm in this deck, but uh, we don't have Lightning Storms. But also, I don't think you necessarily need to. I think the Kaijus do um, better because Medulces can kind of play through back row as long as it's not like Altergeist, you know? But even then, Medulces can actually play through Altergeist fairly fine uh, from what Mio did in previous formats where there was three... Uh, three multi faker. That's one with the three. But yeah, so she, like she did just fine. Uh, anyways, the card I was talking about that works for Foolish Good is Medulce Promenade, and the viewfinder picked that up as a human face. That's funny. Uh, but anyways, uh, Medulce Promenade is the new trap card. It says target one face up card your opponent controls and one Medulce monster you control or in your graveyard. Negate the effects of that opponent's card until the end of this turn, and if you do, return your monster to the hand. This is a really cool card for that effect because it finally gives Medulce like a decent little negate, but it also plays into the other traps that Mio has been playing in this deck. So when I saw this and I saw that it was an actual Medulce card, I was like, this is literally the traps that she's been running, but as a Medulce card, it's pretty crazy. It has a second effect though, uh, where you can banish it from the graveyard. It says, uh, you can manage this card from your graveyard to target a Medulce XZ's control. Attach one Medulce monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard to it as material. You can only use one promenade effect per turn and only once that turn. So if you use it, you can't banish it to do it, but that's fine. Uh, this card's awesome. You can set it off Salon, and basically you send it off of goods and then equip uh, uh, Pudding Cess to Chocolate Ala mode. That's the main use that we found for it. The other Medulce Trap is another returning one. This is Medulce Palooza. I know some people have added Medulce Knights, but Palooza, uh, both me and Mio were talking about it, and we both felt Palooza was much better because what it does is on your opponent's turn, it gets you a bunch of chump blockers, and that could also include uh, Pating Sessor, and Pating Sessor will get you another chump blocker. So, um, But even then, um, like if they get shuffled into the deck, you still get to search stuff and all that all that good stuff and it can if you've set up palooza with the salon it'll trigger the salon when they go back into the deck or you're just gonna add them all to your hand anyways off of chateau so yeah it doesn't matter anyways uh as for the traps two solemn strike uh mio did want me to mention something about solemn strike oh yeah these are supposed to be drowning mirror forces she said that she is thinking about swapping these out for drowning mirror forces or storming mirror forces uh she's thinking about swapping them out that's the point but for now, they're in here. Uh, maybe there'll be something else in the future. Uh, they could be trap tricks. I honestly, I've told her that she could bump up some of the trap cards that she plays, cut this, bump up Promenade by one, and play trap trick. So um, if you are feeling like playing this, I, uh, I've told her to play trap trick. You know, you can try that out. Let us know how that goes. Uh, two compulsory escape device is what she's playing. She's been playing this card forever, and I don't blame her. This card's insane because it, uh, it says each player chooses a monster they control, then shuffles it into the deck. Uh, this triggers Salon. This triggered uh, Chateau. This triggers Ticket. It does a lot, and I completely understand why she was playing it. 
Then we also have a compulsory, uh, compulsory evacuation device. Uh, this also does trigger ticket and so on because it says a Medulce card was added to your hand. So I think it triggers. Let me let me check. No Medulce card. You control or in your graveyard is added to your hand. Yeah. So um, so yeah. You control or in your graveyard is added to your hand or shuffle in the deck. So. Uh, this could if you want to bounce a card to your hand, but either way, this is mostly just to get stuff your opponent controls off the field. Uh, and while this does target, this one does not target. This only affects the player, so that's really cool. Really cool to keep in mind. That's it for the main deck. Um, it's a really, really quick, easy main deck, and it's honestly... I think this deck's cool. This is such a crazy deck, and while it does have a, a slight it can brick like any deck can, this deck is pretty consistent. Moving into the extra, we are starting off with our rank three, Livia the Seeger. Oh, this is a 16 card extra deck real quick. Um, I didn't know what card she wanted me to cut for the third copy of a card, so it's a 16 card extra deck. Uh, cut what you want at your own risk. Uh, one Levier, uh, Levier the Sea Dragon to recover banish stuff. Uh, one Heartland Draco. Uh, this is, I don't know what this is for. You control one face up spell card. This card cannot be targeted for attacks once per turn. Uh, you can detach a material from this card this turn. This card can attack your opponent directly. Other monsters can't attack. Oh, it's just a just a neat monster. Okay. Then we are playing three Teacher Glass Filet. This enables the Medulce combo uh, to basically like loop Chocolate Ala Mode. Uh, she makes Chocolate Ala Mode live because she can detach and target herself, and then Chocolate Ala Mode will summon on top of her, and then shuffle the card you detached off of her back into the deck. Uh, also of note, all the Medulce monsters are like locked into Medulces. It's kind of crazy. So this one is locked into two level four Medulce monsters. And then of course, Mio has three ultimate rare uh, Queen Teramises, because why would she not? She is the Medulce queen. Uh, two level four Medulce monsters, uh, very cool stuff. Honestly, this is what made Medulces good in the first place. And the fact that like now she's kind of sidelined because the way that the deck wants to function, does kind of suck because she's the queen so it would make sense that she's like the boss monster but she definitely still does have a place in the deck and you definitely want to be playing three you don't want to be playing any less then uh we have the the reason this deck is 16 cards or the extra deck is 16 two <laughs> whoa those are reflective can we uh three we were playing three uh this is the third one it's not sleeved up yet but three a la mode uh, you really do want to play three because you can actually make three in one turn and slap your opponent for 9,000 with these things, uh, which is really cool because uh, you'll go into Glass Filet first, then Teramisu, and then slap both of them into an Ala Mode, and then you can definitely, you usually can uh, make, if you did your play right, if you can make another rank four, which I suggest uh, Teacher just because you don't want to waste your queens because um, I think she's a hard... Oh no, you could just make another, uh, just another uh, queen and then shuffle more stuff back. That's really cool. And then, uh, yeah, so that's why it's 16 is because we're playing three. Uh, one Miss Radiant, two Sistart. Uh, we found that Sistart definitely needed to be bumped up, so that's what she's playing. Uh, one Boral Sword and one Saryuja. Uh, I would recommend cutting one of these things, probably one of these two guys if you had to cut something. Uh, so, because... Realistically, the only link you ever really make is this because you are forced into it, but I like the Miss Radiant. But both her and I like the Miss Radiant, and I think Boral Sword's pretty okay too, so I'd, I'd probably cut Saryuja. But anyways, uh, that's that's the extra deck. It's pretty simple. Sistart doesn't really do anything except be a Medulce and get things off the field so you can keep summoning stuff. That's re really all she does. Uh, but yeah, as far as Ala Mode goes, Ala Mode enables insane things. Oh, these two are OGs, this one's a reprint, but yeah, Ola Mode is a really cool card and definitely a, uh, a must play in this deck. Luckily, she just got a reprint and uh, supposedly there is another Medulce reprint coming out soon. So, of uh, Magiline, Magiline, no, Angeli. Angeli is supposed to be the one that's getting a reprint soon. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this deck is one of those things that like, uh, Mio really likes this deck and it means a lot to her, so. Um, I did, like I said, I, there were some notes that she left me and I just wanted to kind of show it off because it is one of those things from Eternity Code I haven't, I haven't shown you guys yet, so I wanted to let you guys uh, see it. Uh, but with that said, let me know what you guys thought about this deck in the comments below. Of course, Mio would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. I want to hear what you guys' thoughts are. And uh, while you're down there, feel free to check out the description. There's a few different links down there you can use to support the channel directly, including uh, joining our Discord where you can chat with us. So.
Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.